Pride comes before the fall. What's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite cousin, Rich, back again. Hope y'all having a marvelous, prosperous, and abundant day, as I am. So let's begin. Don't be too prideful. Don't be too confident. Don't be too cocky. Don't be too arrogant. And let that be the reason why you fall. Don't let your ego be too big that you fall. And so many times we think our ego is somebody who's being narcissistic or somebody who thinks highly of themselves or somebody who has a, is arrogant, has this thing about them, this aura about them. We think that's what ego is. No. A lot of times ego is you keeping yourself quiet, you being shy. See, your ego is something that you have that you create to protect yourself. That's what ego is. So, again, pride comes before the fall. Pride is, can be your ego. Pride can be your self-esteem. Pride could be, well, an overinflated self-esteem. Let me put it like that. Pride could be you being too confident. Pride could be you not lowering your shield and allowing God to work a blessing. And therefore, because you won't lower your shield and allow God and the universe to work a blessing, you will fall. Because he can't bring this blessing into you because you're too guarded, you're too closed off. How many times did you need help with something? You know, but you were too prideful to ask for help. How many times was somebody willing to give you something, but you were too prideful to receive? And that could have been that very blessing that God was trying to give to you that you were asking him for. But you were too prideful to receive. Or you were too prideful to give to somebody. You were too prideful to ask for help. And now you must suffer. See, this is how it goes. We can't have egos and expect a blessing. God don't work like that. The universe don't work like that. You have to come vulnerable. You have to come open. You have to come with empty pockets, not, hard, not hiding anything. This is the way you can be blessed. This is the way you have to be open. How many times was it something that you saw that you wanted? But your ego was too big, your pride was too big to lower yourself, or, or excuse me, lower yourself to go after that said thing. It was a person you wanted to talk to, a person you wanted to date. But your ego and pride was too much for you to step up outside of yourself to go acquire that thing that you wanted. Don't let the things that we create to protect ourselves hold us back. So many times we do that. Sometimes we create these personas, create these egos, create these these shields around us to protect us. A lot of times protect us from a traumatic past or an event that happened to us that scarred us and changed us and we don't want to think about it. And we create these personas, we create these things in order to protect us for it to not happen again. All it is is just a protection device. Some more toxic than others, but that's all it is is to protect yourself. Like I said, what if these things that you're using to protect yourself is holding you back from your blessing? Excuse me, but it's somebody right now sitting on their ass, not making a dollar, not doing anything for themselves, leeching off somebody right now. But they're too prideful to go get a job, to go work at McDonald's. But they got no income, no prospects of money, no nothing. It's somebody right now who loves somebody, but they're too prideful to tell them how they really feel. And now a blessing is going to walk out of their life. Some people are too prideful to tell somebody, I'm sorry, I apologize. And now that wrong that they could have made right will forever be wrong. Don't be too prideful to apologize. Don't be too prideful to say you messed up. Don't be too prideful to tell somebody how you feel. Because you never know when a blessing or opportunity will come back around again. Number one, this is from experience. And number two, God is telling me this. I know this is how life goes. I've seen it with my own eyes. And like, yes, it's happened to me before. So my warning to you is telling you, 
Don't be too prideful. Because when you're too prideful, you're bound to fall. That's just the way it goes. You got to be childlike. You got to be childlike to be accepted by the Most High. God don't want you with no ego. He can't use you if you have ego. Again, ego is not something macho and grand. Ego is anything that you're using to protect yourself, to cover yourself. It's you not being your true person, your true, that God made you. God wants you childlike so he can use you. But he can't use you if you have an ego. He can't bring no blessing in if you have an ego. Right now, somebody got a story that they're supposed to tell the world right now. But they're too ego. Their ego is too much. They're too prideful or they're too scared. They won't hop up out of whatever they're in right now to tell the world their story. And that story that you got is probably what's going to make you rich, what's going to make you abundant. But you're too powerful to tell somebody or tell the world what you've been through. So guess what God's going to do? He's just going to sit back and wait. Don't be too powerful to fill out that job application. Don't be too powerful to tell somebody how you really feel about them. And then you be upset when they're taking pictures with somebody else and they're chilling and laughing, laughing and ha-ha and kiki and having a good old time. And now you're sad. Because the only person you got to blame is yourself because your pride came and now that was your downfall. Like I said, don't let past experiences, past traumas make you build up this wall to now you can't receive no blessing. Because that's the same thing as having pride. Too prideful to release that anger, release that hurt, release that pain. Don't build your identity off of it. It's the same thing. Like I said, God can't work with you like that. God can't bring no blessing in. Don't be too prideful to go take that car back and you can't afford that note. Don't be too prideful to go put that Benz up and go get you a Honda. If that's all you can afford now. Don't be too prideful because the people that care don't matter and the people that don't matter don't care. I know y'all heard it, so I'm going to say it again. The people that care don't matter, and the people that don't matter don't care. I mean, if you got to go swap your car in for something less than, if somebody talking shit and they saying, oh, you used to drive this, now you driving that, they don't matter. And the people who don't care what you driving, they love you for you, or they just don't care what you driving, it don't matter. They don't matter. Excuse me. It don't matter to them. So it, the only person that it should matter to is you. So that's meaning you're in your own way. If you don't release what you need to release in order for you to get what you need to get. And the thing that you got to release is what? That ego. Again, don't be too powerful. Because if you're too powerful, you're bound to fall. You're about to lose something that you desperately want. You're bound to lose something that you desperately worked hard for. You're about to lose something that you asked God for, and he gave it to you. But now you're too powerful to let whatever go you need to go in order to keep or in order to bring in. Don't be that person. Don't have it to be you having to shed that old skin because it has already happened. Don't let that happen to you. Just use this as a warning. Hope this message can help somebody today. This is your favorite cousin. Y'all be safe. Love and blessings.